It started as a peaceful demonstration in New York City. But as the Occupy Wall Street movement continues to spread across the nation, so are arrests and confrontations. The protest against corporate America is evolving into a debate over freedom of speech versus city ordinances. Occupy Norfolk remains downtown, but with the holiday shopping season upon us, how long will the city tolerate it? We sent Art Khan to find out. The tide continues to roll downtown, but protesters with Occupy Norfolk say they have no immediate plans to go anywhere. We are here as a nonviolent organization. We are not here to uh, enrage a riot. Shame on you! But there has been some violence in other cities where police have started arresting protesters who have defied orders to break camp. Cities all over the country that are uh, you know, really just becoming more violent. But some legal experts say cities where police have begun making arrests are walking a tight line when it comes to the rights of free speech versus unlawful assembly. There's a built-in conflict. People have an absolute right to protest. Norfolk attorney Peter Decker, who is also a substitute judge, says as long as the protest is orderly, the protesters are protected by their constitutional right to free speech. But do they have a right to occupy Main Street? If they're on public property, uh, that's very questionable whether you can move them. But at some point you have to wonder, how long can the city of Norfolk allow a tent city right in the heart of its downtown district? Well, it's hard to say, but one thing seems to be reasonably sure, neither side wants a confrontation. There's really not been a talk of relocating them. Um, it is coming up on a month that they've been there. Um, and again, we're still working through the permitting process with them. The permit to occupy Norfolk expires on November 4th. If the city chooses not to renew it, will the group comply or resist? I'm not going to speak as for the whole on whether we're going to move or not, whether we're going to leave or not. Uh, as long as we have the permit, we'll be here. And if we don't have the permit, some people may choose to stay in, in, in spite of such. For now, Camp Norfolk remains quiet. Art Khan, 10 on your side. City officials say the protesters have been very orderly and compliant. The occupation is over in Richmond. Overnight, police removed the Occupy Wall Street protesters from the city plaza. Police used bulldozers to scoop up the tents and belongings they left behind. Officers cited or arrested nine people when they refused to leave. They'd been there since October 17th. A word on why police ended the occupation.